Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about leukocyte adhesion deficiency disorder. This is a rare genetic disorder with mutation of the genes. This is a primary immunodeficiency disease, most often diagnosed at birth. There is delayed separation of the umbilical cord. Okay, the umbilical cord should be separated by one to two week. Here it may be more than two week. Many children do not survive. Leukocyte cannot adhere to the endothelial cell. As because leukocyte cannot adhere to the endothelial cell, leukocyte cannot go to the interstitial tissue spaces. Leukocyte cannot go to the site of infection or tissue damage. So there will be proliferation of the bacterial infection. And leukocyte, although present in the circulation, it will not go to the site of its action. And the peripheral leukocyte and the monocyte present the circulation are sometimes defective. So it looks like although there is leukocyte count may be normal, but it behave like leukopenia, lack of leukocyte, because leukocyte cannot go to the site of its action, cannot penetrate through the endothelial cells of the blood vessel. Associated with recurrent bacterial infection, it may be in the ear, it may be in the periodontal area, it may be in the respiratory system, maybe in the skin. We have two types of leukocyte adhesion deficiency, type 1 and type 2. Okay, so both the type is associated with chronic bacterial infection. Leukocyte adhesion deficiency type 1. Okay. Defective leukocyte adhesion caused by mutation in the beta chain of CD11 slash CD18 in T green. So leukocyte is unable to adhere to the endothelium of the blood vessel. So if it cannot adhere to the endothelial cell, it cannot go out of the blood vessel between the endothelial cell. Let type 2 leukocyte adhesion deficiency type 2. Defective leukocyte adhesion because of mutations in the fucosyl transferase necessary for the synthesis of leukocyte ligands for endothelial selecting. So again, the leukocyte is unable to adhere to the endothelium. So these are the two type of leukocyte adhesion deficiency. What is their treatment? Treatment is prophylactic antibiotic and bone marrow transplantation. Two type of treatment. This is antibiotic prophylactic to prevent infection, bone marrow transplantation to provide good leukocyte okay that can adhere to the endothelial cell okay so if we go to the leukocyte adhesion deficiency we'll get peri prepubertal periodontitis inflammation around the teeth in the gum area okay leukocyte adhesion deficiency the child was deficient with CD18, so it is leukocyte adhesion deficiency type 1, which result in absence or severely reduced level of beta-2 integrin molecules. So the leukocyte cannot adhere to the endothelial cells. The patient suffered from recurrent infection of the middle ear, that is recurrent otitis media, tongue, that is glossitis, perirectal area, 
as well as peridontium around the teeth. Also, it may be possible to get re recurrent respiratory infections. Okay, so that's all about leukocyte adhesion deficiency type 1, type 2. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends and please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice day. Bye now.